dream chasers, nigga. I hope they forgive me for what I did with Diddy. Real street nigga forever. Bitch, I'm dream chasers, nigga. I hope they forgive me for what I did with Diddy. Real street nigga forever. Bitch, I'm I hope they forgive me for what I did with Diddy. Real no, street nigga I'm forever. Leave, I'm not with that, Puff. Come on, man. I thought it was bad boys for life. No, it was that was bad girls for life. I'm not finna do that, man. I ain't with that, man. I'll take care of you, man. Let me give you a thousand dollars. I'm cool, man. I'm not finna degrade myself like that, bro. I'm out. Alright, I'ma give you a billion. You said what? I'm gonna give you a billion. Come on, take that. What do you want from the front or the back? Come on, it's bad boys for life, baby. Huh? Okay, then you got some Vaseline back there? Come on, we're gonna have some dreams and nightmares. Bad boys, Ooh. baby. Stop, Diddy! Stop! Take that. Thanks, man. How was your birthday, man? What was your wish for this year? Well, kind of hung out in Vegas, did a show, and then went to an after party, and uh, I don't know, it wasn't enough chicks, man. It's a lot of dudes, you know, it was a sausage fest, man. That sounded like the type of night I want to have in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Why won't you party with me for your birthday, man? Well, you know, just like, uh, you know, my homie just threw a party and uh, a bunch of families, uh, you know, man. Yeah, I just feel like we got to utilize that time. Maybe next time, bro. Right now. Right now? Well, I got, I got, I got dinner, you know, uh, with my chick, bro. Dinner's on me. Well, thank you, man, but uh, I really got to go, man. Swear to God. Don't bring a God into this situation. No, no, I, I wasn't. I was just like... I shut the fuck up! Huh, man, come on. Just chill the fuck out, man. I like when you like this, Daddy. All right, man. Yo, fuck you. I'm out of here. <sighs> then there's this photo that went viral showing Diddy and French looking pretty cozy while hanging out with friends in Miami. And if you pay attention, it almost looks like they're spooning. Now you already know 50 Cent couldn't ignore all the buzz surrounding that photo, so he went ahead and shared it on his Instagram. And his caption, Classic 50. He wrote, What in the world is going on in this picture, man? Something's not right. But 50 didn't stop there. Sometime later, he shared this selfie on his IG, and one of his followers commented, You should F French Montana. That's when 50 fired back saying, What the F you just say? I ain't with all that crazy sh What the F you think I'm puffy? And now 50 Cent's comments from back in the day are making waves again, especially Especially with all these allegations flying around about Diddy supposedly roping rappers into some questionable situations. Fans are putting two and two together, thinking French might have been one of those rumored special friends Diddy signed to his label under the guise of making music. But it's not just Diddy who's getting linked to French. There's now this video making the rounds on social media showing Cuba Gooding Jr. busting some moves on stage with French. Also, it looks like French partied with Cuba for New Year's when they snapped this selfie. So remember how Cuba's name came up in Rodney Jones's lawsuit as one of Diddy's friends who made inappropriate moves on him. According to TMZ, Jones alleged that Diddy introduced him to Cuba Gooding on his yacht, and supposedly Cuba started making advances on him without his consent. Jones was always at least one or two steps ahead. She knew how it. She knew how it worked. She just miscalculated at the end. Mm, miscalculated to the level in which he'd go or, or? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think for her, she thought not even he mm -hmm. would be willing to do that. You know, especially in the way he did it. Right. Um, I, I'm still surprised that people have the ability to question it when her casket was pre-ordered. Wow. I didn't know that. Like that fact in detail, people keep forgetting to mention she had her casket ready three weeks before she died. Custom. Wow.
Kim Porter's death will just never sit right with me. There are so many things around her passing that just don't make sense. And one of the craziest things is about the first coroner that worked on her body that alleged that she had actually had toxins in her body at the time of her death. This is her coroner, Ed Winter, and he actually worked on a lot of different cases for celebrities such as Michael Jackson, Brittany Murphy, and Whitney Houston. I find it so odd that he just chose to retire during Kim Porter's autopsy results. And then shortly after he retired, he actually passed away. He's the same man that actually is the reason why Conrad Murray got charged with Michael Jackson's murder. He explained that Michael Jackson actually had injection sites all over his body. So I find it super weird that if you allegedly know that Kim Porter had toxins in her body, you're just going to go ahead and retire before the whole thing is actually complete which led them to have to get the second coroner who said that her death was due to pneumonia. And none of us can forget how Al Beecher said that he had actually spent time with Kim Porter before her passing and she was absolutely in good health. And he actually alleged that they better look into Diddy because he's not the person that you think he is. So let me know what you guys think on Kim Porter's passing and all this stuff on her first coroner in the comments. We knew it was coming. We knew somebody was going to rat on Diddy. And girl, you got the first look. Oop, former Motown Records CEO, Ethiopia. I can't mess up her last name. H. To testify against Diddy in exchange for being dropped from the SA traffic lawsuit. Yeah. Ethiopia said, I know all the bodies are buried, baby. Follow me. <laughs> now, if you remember when Little Rod's lawsuit first dropped, Ethiopia was named in both the front, first page, right along next to Sony Music, uh... CEO Lucian and on the third page describing everybody by name, date, size, address, and ETC. <laughs> now it looks like TA Blackburn Law is representing Ethiopia and they requested for her to get immunity in exchange for her testifying against Diddy. Now this was done on March 21st. Now picture this, Ethiopia decides that she is going to testify against Diddy so she can get away and get out of the lawsuit completely on March 21st and then all of a sudden Diddy's house gets raided on March 25th baby make it make sense Ethiopia knew exactly what she was doing and this is why Diddy's house got raided last night she told them everything that they needed to know for her to get out of this lawsuit now I don't know why Lucian didn't take that offer as well but maybe he got a lot more power than what we think and he's okay and please be mindful in Little Rod's lawsuit Lucian and Ethiopia were quote unquote allegedly present for a lot of Diddy's parties which, quote unquote, had underage girls, and he was DRUGing a lot of people with his bottles. So, if we speak, we speak. If we don't, we don't. I can go the rest of my life speak, not speaking to nobody. I don't give a fuck about that. Right. That don't make me, I ain't gonna put no money in my pocket. I'm, on, I'm, I'm out here, I'm hustling, man. You ain't my nigga, you ain't a hundred, and I don't care what they say. Give a fuck we bust packs in that bando way back in the day. You ain't my nigga, you ain't a hundred. Cause you ate in my face Should've put that tool to your stomach Little nigga, give me your plate Two things we don't do We don't give money back And we don't say sorry AP, AP, AP You could move. I got honey on my noggin. She uh -huh. can never get my login. I sit the wave and they dogging. I take a right to spot like dragon. She every why I lied to her. So I can keep from here. You crying. I'm hearing on, I hear them silence. I call pleasure like Matt Ryan. I put my brothers in the hood. Told them I got them and I'm on fumble. Even pull up, pop your bubble. I get some hundreds to my mother. I bear the money with a shovel. Me and she don't like no other. I got the swats, so I'm like the gutter. I'm dodging hate, just like a mother. Play, play.
niggas on my noggin She can't never get my login I set the wave and they diving I take a right to start like drugging She ain't why I lied to her So I can keep them 